a lot of times people dismiss advice because they're too full of pride at the time. If I try, try to tell my cousin something, my uncle something, it's, come on, don't bother, don't, don't waste my time. They don't want to look like they're listening because it might even be, why should I make you feel like you won? I had to listen to you. Who do you think you are? And maybe once you left, they're like, yeah, he was right, I should have listened to him. Mm -hmm. But they can't let you see that because it's a matter of pride now, right? It's okay. Don't, you don't, we don't have to give people advice and they transform their lives. Because that transformation is not up to us. But we do have to continuously remind. This is the teachings of all Prophets. Prophets didn't see change for decades sometimes. And Allah, what's the advice Allah gave to our Messenger? So I said, you're not going to find a better speaker. You're not going to find a better message. You're not going to find a better audience that understands the message directly, the, the Quraysh. Imagine people that hear the best message from the best teacher for 10 straight years and still don't listen. Can you imagine? What an impossible audience. What does God tell His Messenger? فَذَكِّرْ إِنَّمَا أَنْتَ مُذَكِّرْ Just keep reminding. Your job is just to remind. Sincere, sincere, considerate reminder. Considerate means you care about that person. You're not just there to tell them they're going to hell. You're not there to tell them they're wrong. You care about them. Like you care about your own child. You care about your own brother, you care about your own, you know, and they're in the sense your brother too, because you have the same father, Adam alayhi salam. So they are your brother and your sister in humanity. You know, that, this, that's the reason Allah told us we come from single parents. So we think of each other as family. So it's that caring concern. A lot of, a lot of times people give advice in a way that's very insulting. Yo sister, you're not wearing hijab. Don't you know that's in Islam? What kind of Muslim are you? That's how you would, if your mother wasn't wearing it, that's how you talk to her? There's a way to talk to people, right? This is what the prophets taught us. How to talk to people. Not just what to say, but how to say it. How considerate we have to be in delivering a message. Because that can soften people's hearts.